tell me it's oh. your rodeo. We got to talk about stuff because there's actually people in here. Oh no, I was afraid <laughs> of that. <laughs> We're live, so here oh, we are. Wow. We're Tide back. Water Horror Convention. Hold on, wait a minute. We're back again. Again. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. From Tidewater Horror Convention. Yes, in uh, Virginia Beach, Virginia. I almost keep forgetting where we are. You were you were gonna say like Maryland, Maryland or Georgia. Or Georgia. Yeah, it's been a long summer. Um, but speaking of long summers, we've been on tour with. Some amazing guests, and one sitting right here. Hello, hello. Did you forget his name? Nico Hughes. That's all right. Is it on? Into you the can light. You hear me? Okay. There you go. Okay. Well, no. If I have to introduce him, then I don't know why they're sitting here. Just I just wandered in. Maybe yeah, they're bored. Yeah, they were like, this, I, I would it's never assume day. this yeah. room must have AC. The no, talent's in there. Yeah, yeah. Wrong. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Deal with the fans. Uh, no, no, Mr. Miko Hughes. You know, known for a multitude of things. Sure. But yeah. the the Probably most the famous, yeah, the, the, the scariest, scariest and most bad slasher. <laughs> well, I saw the little kid. I had to keep it PG-13. Yeah. yeah, I mean, who else can get hit by a trailer truck and come back? Yeah, it was like, uh, legit. The first take wasn't so bad. The second one hurt. <laughs> I had to do round two and three. Uh, uh, but you, you've been in a lot of stuff other than uh, the Stephen King book. Sure. As we have to call it because of the strike. <laughs> eh. So, yeah, I, I, see, I feel the same way. You know. Hey, what do you mean? It's a, it's a gray area, I think. Yeah, well, like it's like my hair, much. gray. It's good. <laughs> it's all good. Um, so what was it like growing up in film and TV and, like... It was great. Like, uh, really? Like, yeah. some people have horror stories about it. It could have been worse. I, I have friends that I grew up in the industry with, uh, other kid actors, and I think they maybe uh, didn't have as, as good of a go of it. Um, and it very easily good could have been protection. the case for me. You know, I don't know. I just, uh, I got lucky. It was, uh, I had, my mom was really good. She was really protective, kept me away from too much craziness, I think. And I uh, had some some amazing opportunities. And I'm super thankful to have been as lucky as I was to, to work on the projects that I did. And some of them happened to be particularly popular. And, and a lot of people seem to remember and connect with it. And I get to come to fun events like this and meet everyone and hang out. And I'm forever thankful for that. How often do they have you say that little line from Kindergarten Cup? I won't make you say it. Boys now. have a penis, girls have yeah, a vagina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, Just no, get no, it so, out of the way. So, so my question is, how many times did my wife make you say that yesterday? Uh... <laughs> I, she think, was I think she got her fill because other people were coming up to the table. And really? It. So if she wanted to, she didn't have to because it kept happening. Yeah, but I know she did because I'm married to her. I Maybe. know how it goes. Is that what she makes you say it all the time? Is oh, that yeah. It? Yeah. It's what it, <laughs> can you just say that for me? Wow. And then when she found out you were on tour with us or we were on tour together over the summer, she's like, no way. I'm like, yeah, but he was gauge. Yeah. In Pet Cemetery. She's yeah. like, no, Kindy Carton Cop. A little bit of everything, I suppose. I just shook my head. I'm like, Speaking oh, of man. A little bit of everything. Uh, what's your favorite medium working? You've done voice acting, TV, film. Like, sure, yeah. What's the... I'm sure you've done some stage work as well. Very but. little. Very nothing to speak of. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> if it's a good... What nothing to speak of, nothing he says, to speak of. which means I mean, it's nothing you would have seen Broadway. or known. Like, I've done it to have the experience is what well, I mean. Right. But it's not like you could you know, heard of it or look it up or anything. But um, yeah, I mean, it just depends on the project. If it's if it's something cool, I don't I'm not picky, you know, voiceover. Or well, acting I gotta imagine or... most of the stuff from younger days, it's probably hard to remember. It's from as, as anything know. is, you know, the younger you go, the less you remember. Yeah. But but there's there's a good chunks of stuff. Anything sure. stick with you that's been like really like, oh, my God, I can't believe I had to do that as a kid. Um just various things i mean i remember a lot of the major stuff that that you might think of from, oh, from really? the films yeah i remember a lot of new nightmare because i was older and that was really fun freddie was like uh in that era was like a pop culture icon even, yeah even if you didn't see the movies as a kid because they were like adult horror movies really but for whatever reason freddie and also jason were like they had like a this cereal they were pop culturally oh, very video games, relevant right, video right. games yeah so like even if you hadn't seen the movies you knew the character uh -huh. so when i got to audition for it i was ecstatic because i knew the freddy character and and um 
just being able to work on that was an adventure and, and everybody was so nice and Wes was an amazing director he's my favorite director I ever got to work with so calm say. so like professional and a lot of times on sets it can get really stressful mm -hmm. and that can trickle down from the top of you know the producers director whoever um, and Wes is one that really stood out because there's always some of that and maybe they did deal with that but I don't ever remember any of that. We finished under budget and on the day we said we were supposed to, which is kind of unheard of. Normally it's uh, right. you know over budget and stress and everything. And it was just a, an amazing experience. Well, wow. uh, are, are there, were there any role models that you had while on set that, you know, kind of took you under their wing were like, Arnold came up to me and was like, oh, well, little Miko. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I was one of however many kids in the class, so I, I wouldn't say I was like singled out in that way, but I, but I certainly uh, appreciated and uh, tried to, you know, pick up what I could from, from the talented people I got to work with. It was a privilege and, and exciting. And so, I, you know, I don't think that was lost at me, lost That's on cool. me even at that age. So. Are you here, Ben? Am I what? Are you here? No, this is. I'm just sitting here looking pretty. Well, you're doing great. Yeah, I'm flirting with the lady in the doorway. Leave me alone. Now, did did you have to go to school while on set? Yeah, and was uh, that le difficult? Legally, you have to have a set teacher on set, oh, and depending so on the age, you have to do so many hours of school per day. So I'd be even, some days I would film, and I'd be wrapped filming, but I had to stay on set to complete the amount of hours in school. Were you doing yeah. this schooling like all by yourself? Or was it like a classroom it, setting? It was it was Yeah, either solo or if there was other kids in the same film, they would have like a designated area. Maybe it was a certain trailer that was like the school trailer. Uh, or if it was on location, it was like a room that was being unused. And that would be like the school room. So we'd always have to go there. So kind of between. boring if you're the only kid on set. So Pet cemetery. Yeah. Well, you were too young for school. In Pet I cemetery. wasn't in yeah. school. Legally, they have to have one on set just kind of as like a third party guardian. Right. Make sure everything's, you know, above board. And right, uh, right. yeah, so there was, but uh, but I wasn't like in school. Because I was going to say, like time. in Pet Cemetery, you would have been by yourself. And yeah. then in Kidney Well, Ellie, Cop, Ellie was also, she probably had uh, yeah, but, school. Yeah, different, you know. Well, yeah, I guess you guys would all be in the same trailer, right? If it was different school, grades. Yeah, but I wouldn't be in there because I was a baby. It was like teaching you the ABCs and teaching her reading. algebra. I was just trying not to, <laughs> I was just trying not to crap my pants, probably. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Did it work? Uh, I don't remember. Okay. I'm just curious. I mean, if I saw the trailers were coming, I would have crapped my pants too. So I'm just saying. Yeah. You know, he's like, you love that scene. That, it is my favorite <laughs> scene. Of the, it's one, I, one of my favorite how scenes. How old were, were you when you actually watched? Because I'm sure at that age, your parents were like, no. Yeah. Uh, I saw clips. I knew vaguely the story. I knew what my character's kind of situation and involvement is you and gave uh me nightmares like <laughs> straight up my parents weren't they they kind of sat me in front of a tv and were like have at it and, and pet cemetery was one of those films my brother was into a lot loved stephen king and mm. sat me down with him while he was watching me and was just like yeah we're gonna watch pet cemetery and gage was kind of uh the the feeder of nightmares then nice <laughs> how, many, nice. how many times nice. did you have to look under the bed before going to sleep oh. Dude, you don't. I was too afraid to look under the bed. Are you kidding? It was dark. <laughs> yeah, it might have been under there. You never know. You never know. You know, you never know. But I mean, I I think I said this in in when we were in Maryland, and we had you up on a stage with some heavyweights, being you know Leatherface, yeah, Leatherface and Michael and Myers, Michael Myers, engage, engage, and I was like, you know, if the three of these guys got Still. into a fight, who's gonna win? And everybody's like, oh, Leatherface and Michael Myers. I'm like. No, I don't know. Maybe if I had the element of surprise. The dude hides under the bed. Yeah. He takes out the Achilles tendon. If with I get the, the knife. jump on him, I might get some good hits. You're done, out. man. You can, I don't give a I think Gage is are. also technically the only like undead one. So the, I think Michael can die. I don't know if they ever got supernatural with him. Originally, he was just a human. Well, right. I think they did later. Leatherface right. is just a human. Well, right. So you know, we didn't throw you up there with like you know Jason. Yeah, yeah. Freddy. See, Jason is kind of zombie. You know, yeah, those you know, are the more supernatural. Yeah, they yeah. don't die. But I'm still so, thinking. Yeah, the, if cut, they cut the Achilles. They yeah, drop like a stone. They could punt me over the wall. The they like right through the. Didn't fence, we, we went like, through that too. It's yeah, like if they get a hold of you, it's like bite. Yeah. But you know, any questions out in the fans? Come on, there's a lot of you here, and you're all smiling, online? so we must be doing something right. You have a question? Do you? Oh, you sure? Do you sure you have a question? 
<laughs> yeah, I think I would too. Yeah. But how many gauges could you take at one time? Oh yeah, what if it's probably ten, like six. ten gauges versus one leather face? <laughs> I don't know. So we do have a question from this lady over here. From the taco. <laughs> from from Del Taco. Yeah. Is that what you said? The, the taco. Oh, the taco. <laughs> oh, sorry, Del Taco. No, no, just kidding. Oh, you are very sweet. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Did you yeah. pay her? Uh, no, she's just better at your job than. <laughs> <laughs> So. Um, yeah, so uh, I, I, I don't know, maybe if you hadn't heard, I did a short film that's uh, a continuation of New Nightmare. It was uh, completely fan funded mm -hmm. on Indiegogo. Uh, that's the way to do it. Yeah, it, uh, I was unfamiliar with fan films previously. I was a little hesitant. I hadn't acted in a long time. I didn't know, is this going to be like legit good enough, you know? Um, and uh, we, it, we've been talking about it for a very long time. COVID put like a two year pause on everything. So it was kind of good, kind of bad. We were able to make things better in that time, but also I think it built up hype for a long time. So people were expecting like a full feature, which ultimately it's just a short and it kind of, uh, it ends on a cliffhanger, which leaves the door open for more. And I think maybe now that we've shown what we can do, if we can continue and do it bigger mm -hmm. and better, we could do a full feature and, right. and hopefully get people involved that will make it even better and, and more legitimate and and you know not that i expect that to happen but that's like a fun right. you know we, we, we figure yeah. why not shoot for the moon so yeah um yeah the, Indie, the indiegogo is still open i think they're still trying to fund uh like i think we didn't fund the whole thing through the indiegogo i think some of the the, the filmmakers put in a little they, so they like put some back we're trying to it. trying to complete it fully um there's like dvds and blu-rays but if you don't want it that's fine too it's also free on YouTube, um, and if you like it, if you think it's a fair entry into the Freddyverse, uh, give it a like and share it to your friends, I guess. I myself am just discovering fan films, and I think they're incredible. A lot of them, they, they seem to have the lore and stuff down, and, and it really like draws you in that way. Sure. So yeah. I have to check this out. Yeah, it's made by the fans, like for the fans. Yeah. So I think, you know, there's a lot of inside jokes and a lot of uh, like inside baseball. If you're a fan of Freddy and, and, um, you know, we, it's, it's based in the new nightmare universe. The story being, what if Freddie came back for Dylan 30 years later as an adult? Um, but there's a lot of nods to the original Canon, the original six Freddies, the look of Freddie was, it was tried to be like a, uh, a, a mix of both because a new nightmare, technically it's the entity that takes the form of Freddie. It's not mm -hmm. Freddie from the original movies. Um, but it's kind of the same thing. So in this one, it's the look of the makeup that we put on Dave McRae, who I think did amazing. No one will ever, of course, re replace Robert, but well, right. we haven't had a Freddy in forever, and, and I think he's a fair right. entry. I think he did a great well, job. A lot of people said the same thing about Jason. Reeves. Well, uh, in Superman, Superman, but it also, you know, Jason, yeah. and they started doing the fan films of that. And I sure. think, like, Jason Brooks, who stepped into uh, the first fan films, yeah. did an amazing job. Oh, yeah. So I, I actually I'm looking forward to seeing that. Cool, yeah. I hope, hope you like it. You know, some it where, seems where like can the, they see it? It's on YouTube. You can watch it now for free. It's Dylan's New Nightmare. Um, and there's also the Indiegogo. The link is on there if you want like DVDs and Blu-rays and all the extra features and merch and stuff. Or just call too. Miko. He'll he yeah, can, he it, can take care. Of I it, mean, I've, I've been whoring it on my Instagram, so you can <laughs> go there and find all the links. So <laughs> right, right, and that and that reference was for all the viewers that are uh, on the internet. Oh, gotcha. You cool. know, because yeah. we are streaming this oh. to 22 platforms oh, worldwide. Oh, my goodness. Uh, you know. See, now I'm nervous. Now that I know there's more people than what's <laughs> just in the room. So. The, than the six that are here. Yeah. <laughs> That's a, uh, we filled no, this, actually, the we filled this is small hard, room man. pretty well. The, the room is pretty full. Room, you know? so. um, Leo already did that. He's got the crowd cam, so they know so, how many people are really so cool. in here. So if it wasn't yeah. acting, what, what do you think your dream job career would have been oh gosh uh i just grew up in the film industry so it feels the most comfortable the really? most at home i don't know if if or what it would be anything else but no, no uh, construction running a jackhammer maybe the I, the it could have been it could have been anything <laughs> man i did end up going back into film i, I kind of my day job now i guess yeah. is uh i'm a uh, camera i'm in camera department local 600 
So I, I still work in film, just not in front of the camera so much. This uh, short film is kind of the first time I've done it in a while. And it was something that I actually enjoyed. It felt like I could sink my teeth into. There was a long time where I kind of just backed off of it because I was growing up, family drama, and I felt like everything I was auditioning for wasn't right. So so this film was kind of cool. It felt like it felt like something. It felt right. Was it kind of so. weird transitioning from, say, child actor to, to adult actor? Sure, and, like, as it always was, is. Like put yeah. on you as like yeah. responsibilities and such sure it was a lot of factors at that time and yeah. i think i think it was healthy i think i needed Ooh. to take a step away from it for a long time to right. hopefully be the best version of myself that i could be and uh yeah I'm, I'm happy where things are you know I'm, working I'm out no, good for you could always be better but it definitely could be worse so i'm not complaining that is, no that is true that is true so uh what do you think of virginia beach I love it. I wish I was here more often. It's a great spot. I, I want to see the beach and all the, the local fun stuff. I've only really seen the con, so I haven't. Nobody's gone to the beach yet. Yeah. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm going to go. Nah, nah, I went to the beach. Yeah. See, you, you were well, able to. No, but, uh, I, I was smart. I... Well, there we go. We got boogie boards in the car. So Let's go. Who knows what will happen. Right. Right. So, so who, who else complained about not seeing the beach yet? Uh, Spencer, I believe. Oh, Spencer wanted to see the beach. So yeah, you and Spencer, we can get Olivier. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Even Don whole, Yeso, because he, you know, we gotta have the comedian on the crew. There you go. We'll go down there and watch you guys boogie board. I'll Fine. videotape it so when you guys get eaten, I'll have some new content. Perfect. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so what did you say? <laughs> oh, I can fill fill them all in the back of my truck. So no, we actually came in um on Wednesday. Nice. My wife so and I. Time. Yeah, great. we went yeah, down and fun. checked out the beach, and we're like, "Oh, that's after great. the convention, we're staying here for a week. Cool." Nice. So, yeah, yeah. that's dope. But uh, yeah. Anyways, back to you because it's about you. Me. All right. Uh, no, him, not you. It's well, about all of us, man. We're just hanging out. Any, are there good. any questions out there? I mean, we'll just sit here and joke around because we've been on. Yeah, there's one in the back. <laughs> <laughs> My dad's a gynecologist and he looks at vaginas all day long. <laughs> Personally, I'm more of an amateur enthusiast. But <laughs> Have you had any strange fan moments while at con? Uh, I had a really interesting one right before I came in here. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, I, I told you to leave him alone. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this gal was just were very overwhelmed and and like started crying and like it, it just was you a Michael lot. Michael Jackson, somebody. I I don't know. So it was it was a like real fan moment, and I was That's flattered. I you know I don't think I would cause that in anyone. I wouldn't expect that, but How it was, that it was very sweet. Like? It's uh, overwhelming. It's 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 powerful. It's like, oh it's God, like, like a human doing? moment. You want to be there for them and like just you want it to be the best experience for them because they're having this like cool thing, but you, I don't know what to do. It's just kind of like, okay, I gave her a hug, you know, and, and just let her say what she wanted to say. And then, and then she was kind of getting a little handsy and her husband was there. <laughs> it was entertaining. Nice. It was entertaining. <laughs> yeah. He was cool with it. I don't know. It was very, it was very flattering. But so what are you doing later? She, called, she calmed down. She calmed down. <laughs> yeah, right, right. It was, uh, it was, it was, it was fun. It was an interesting what's, uh, story. Uh, what's one of the weirdest things you've ever had to sign? The weirdest thing I've had to sign. Uh, I've signed more, like plenty more than you might think. Uh, uh, skin that becomes a tattoo. I've done That's that before. I'm, I'm so yeah. amazed. Yeah, by yeah I'm glad. I'm, I'm that glad that you put it that Should way. Go too. for the skin yeah. tattoos. <laughs> No, no, sure. I mean, I, 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 that's one of the things I always said if I became famous, and they said, "Well, will you sign this?" And I said, "And no, I, have, I have I'll sign it, but you're going to be tattooed, and it's going to cost a lot of money because I have to give it all to her." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have horrible handwriting too. So kudos to who anyone is willing to <laughs> put just, that it, on their body. It, it looks it's like just, a heartbeat. Uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's like a scribble. So, <laughs> how is it being on Johnny Carson? That was yeah, like a cool moment. I got to find out about you. And Absolutely. Like, once again, you were really young. So and yeah, I think I was the, the second youngest person ever on Johnny Carson. There was a long time where I thought I was the youngest because we have a like an old, was it time not People magazine or something that Johnny quoted that in oh. in the magazine. So we believed that, and then found out online later there was so that was the one he remembered apparently. But I was, you know, of the the youngest so ever on the show. Cool to be on that show. Like, yeah, yeah, it was like, an honor. That's him and Jay Leno. I did both. Oh, of you them. did Leno. Yeah, I it was during when he was like 
I think right around oh, the, the transition during yeah, the wars between them. Yeah. Not the Conan wars or, the, or that was the newer one. Not, <laughs> yeah, that's the, not the, Dave the Dave Letterman. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it was then actually. Yeah. And this, is, this is where your career ended up. Yeah. You sit here with us now. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on up. Yeah. <laughs> From Johnny so Carson it was all training for this day. Right? Yeah. I do want to ask you something. This is something that Leo usually asks. Sure. Yes. Yeah. And I think we might have asked this in Georgia or Maryland top, but okay. what does Miko geek out about? Oh, uh gosh, I just work so much anymore. I'm not as fun as I used to be. Uh I like festivals. I like EDM. I know the like horror scene is very rock oriented, and yeah. I, that's like my two worlds that do do not intersect like barely at all. But but I love them both. Um, yeah, I like that. I like just kind of geeky. I like tech and VR and and uh, and that's why I yeah, asked you because I remember I remember that the sure. answer, yeah. and I was just want, watching his eyes go. Oh really? Really? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> nice. yeah. I'm gonna follow you back to your table. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, um, I'm sure there's more. That's you know, just right, comes right. To mind. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So he's a tech geek. Yeah, that's kind of how I got back into filmmaking. Is in the camera department now. It's there's still film, but it's pretty rare now. The cameras are mostly computers, essentially, just image Ooh. computers. So I'm I'm kind of like on set IT. I'm just the computer, the the camera tech. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Miko, the angle's wrong. Yeah, or the settings or the firmware <laughs> or whatever. You know, yeah. right, right. I'm down to. Do you have any phobias and stuff? Unless the Ooh. fans start helping us out here, come on. There's a whole crowd of you. Jellyfish. I'll answer that one. Really, jellyfish? jellyfish? Yeah. Oh, but he had a question. I just that's I just, a wait, weird. No, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, hold on. Question. Jellyfish. So you're afraid is... of jellyfish? Oh, is God, that yeah. because they sting and hurt, or because they They're... have to pee on you so it doesn't no, hurt? And I've heard that's actually a. a uh, I yeah, I, hear that's I always thought that was true, but I think it's. I hear it's not. Well, ideal. Let's go to the beach. <laughs> yeah, we'll test that later, maybe. Yeah. Um, I don't know. They're just like floating meat plants of death. They're disgusting. <laughs> they have no brain. They have no brain. Right, they're right. not. They're like barely alive. They're just like. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> so I guess a jellyfish film is out of the question. Uh, yeah, yeah. If there was a horror movie about jellyfish, that would be the one that would scare me. Definitely. Oh, I thought maybe you were starring in it. No, I'd be. I wouldn't be acting. I'd be terrified. Probably. <laughs> uh, it was my mom that kind of got me into acting. Uh, she thought I was cute and precocious, and I took direction well, and she thought I'd do okay. And uh, she really fought hard to, to try to get me an agent. Um, I don't remember any of this, of course, but this is the stories I've heard my whole life. Uh, that she she went to LA and she looked up what's the who's the best like who's the biggest most well known kid actor agent and went to the office just walked in uh, talked to the secretary she got headshots taken like pictures tried to give him a picture and they said oh thank you no thank you we don't accept clients you know walk ins or anything like that um, and so but she would just hang out and they had like posters on the wall and stuff and uh, she would she'd be carrying me and say like what's this what's that and and I could talk I could talk before I could walk and so just so that the like secretary could see and get a sense of me um, and she said she did that on and off for months she would go in every week couple weeks however just oh how's it going maybe maybe you have some openings now you know and oh nope sorry can't blah 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 and she said she did that for nine months and the the girl at the front desk got a promotion the the secretary um and became kind of more like an agent and uh had the opportunity to do her own you know casting or you know submit people and uh pulled my picture she said it was the first picture she pulled and and sent me out on some auditions and i booked the first three things i went out on and uh the the head agent called me in to have a meeting and meet me and uh my mom always tells the story she says uh she said where have you been all this time and my mom said knocking on your door for nine months so and then i think it was like two or three months after that i was uh pet cemetery so yeah so we do have uh a question online yeah so a bunch of people watching and uh, a lot of comments but the first question just came in uh so being a young actor in pet cemetery how did that affect your childhood in any way uh i think i didn't know what it was like to i didn't know what acting was i didn't know that other kids all kids didn't do what i was doing at the time you know it was a slow understanding as time went on that it, it, realizing how 
unique and lucky I was to be in that position and, and doing the things I was doing. Um, sorry, what was the, the, the original specific question? Wrong button. Wrong button, yeah. So they're asking uh, how it affected your childhood. Oh, how it affected my childhood. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm sure it did. I, de I definitely didn't have a super normal childhood. I was homeschooled because traveling so much, it made it easier to be to not be pulled out of school constantly of just being used to doing it on the road. And then, like we were saying earlier, like on set, you'd have the classroom, the set teacher would be there. So so that was uh, limiting, I think, in a social way. I was kind of like socially isolated for a long time. Um, uh, like my best friends were my nephews. We, we all were kind of the same age growing up. So but I didn't have like a like a normal school experience. And I feel like it was interesting. I was stunted in a lot of ways, but I also was really advanced in a lot of ways because I had all these experiences and I was working with adults. I didn't spend as many time with kids. So I felt or I'm told I was like, I, I talked like a little adult or something. And yeah, so I'm sure it affected me in, in a lot of ways. But uh, yeah, it wasn't until later I, I kind of got more experiences that most people probably would take for granted of like, you know, having at a young age, just by default. So. I hope that makes sense. I don't know. It's kind of right. all made sense yeah. to me. Okay. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I no, it did. But we only have a couple more minutes with Miko before we have to send him back to the wolf pit out there. Yeah, it's, it was busy. It was <laughs> it, like slowed down, and then it got real busy. Okay, yeah. It was insane. It was, I, I, people I got off like work. Waves. I guess. Yeah, yeah. It, it was really super busy. I. Came back out. It was like, wow, this is. That's why I went to lunch. So I was yeah, like, all right, it's kind of it's kind of mellowing out a little bit. Yeah, we packed. got we did the same. We grabbed lunch, and I turn around, and it's like, we need a signature. We need it. I'm like, oh Jesus. Yeah. Oh, tough life. Tough yeah. life. Yeah. I'm trying to eat my whopper. Yeah. Yeah. I'm falling out of my mouth. You know, burger falling. No, just yeah. Dude, look who's talking. Tough life. Tough life. Hey man, it's a privilege. Absolutely. I actually was hunting around for your phone number this morning because I'm like, man, he's got like seven people at his table. My uh -oh. boy's still sleeping. Yeah, I went, I went a little too hard on Friday. I broke my own rule. Normally, I save that for Saturday, but I was kind of hungover this morning. But uh, oh, I wasn't even better. going there. Oh, no, I'll be honest. I'm being honest. That's why I was late. I was late this morning. But see, uh, you just threw me under the it. bus because I told all those people that I'm now, man, he's in the bathroom. He'll be right here. No, it's fine. I'd rather be honest. Why lie? I mean, we're all here to have fun, right? right? I hope. Look, I hope everyone else has good. as much fun too. You know? I just right. hope you don't have a hangover. That's all. right. Because that that was lame. But yeah. <laughs> that was lame. But uh, any more questions for Miko before we let him go back to the table? If you think of one after, just go to his table. Actually, no, you should yeah. go to his table. Go yeah. To, does, does Miko have a photo op after this? Well, every every guest. Ha See, hey, they're going live to the here. photo what are you doing? Yes. Knock it up. <laughs> so <laughs> every, every guest here has a photo op yeah. opportunity. So if you want a professional photo with Miko, just out this door down the hall i think it's two doors down don't say it uh, <laughs> but uh, three doors down <laughs> um so yeah two doors down okay ha, totally. i think they can find it if they go yeah there. i okay, mean we'll, right. we'll walk them over there but it's okay you don't have to get a picture it's fine <laughs> no also, we i'll we, be at the table <laughs> yeah that's where you know go check out what he's got at the table talk to him Harass them like we can. That's what and, I'm uh, here for. Yeah. So, uh, what's uh, any more conventions coming up for you this year where people can see you? Because this is, like I said, yeah, being uh, streamed. Uh, I think I have a little bit of a break. It's been every weekend for like a month or two now, almost. No. A couple weeks off. And then I think I go to uh, Florida for Spookala in Tampa. And then uh, there's others. There's like one in Ohio. I'll be posting about them. I always post on my story. To so promote, the, yeah, on the, Instagram, the so. line behind that is follow Miko on Instagram. Yeah, that's how I get you to follow me. <laughs> you know, and find out where he's going to be because it's great watching it on the stream, but it's even better when you can come down here and into. Sure. It's wild out here. It's okay. It's a live convention. Yeah, it's what happens when it's live. What happens? I just want to know what the hell they're running from. You, <laughs> I mean, Miko's in here. Ain't yeah. nobody else scary around, right? Well, Spencer, but he's just scary big. Yeah. So, but no, definitely head out, check out Miko at his table, and uh, chat with him. Buy one of his pictures. I mean, the kid needs to eat. 
I just had a huge lunch. I'll be all right. Yeah, <laughs> peanut butter and jelly doesn't count. <laughs> no, uh, we, in all seriousness, we wanted to thank you, I man. Um, thank you. We've had a blast this summer on tour. Yeah, you know, That's hanging out fun. at multiple conventions in multiple show. cities, and yeah. you know, I look forward to doing it again. Yeah, and I apologize for sticking my wife with you last night. Oh no, it's, you know, it's very sweet. It's very sweet. Um, Thanks for letting me borrow her. She was yeah, not a problem, man. Uh, <laughs> you know, that's twenty five percent. All good. So, all good. Yeah. <laughs> on that note, we're gonna let Miko go back. Uh, let's give it up for him. Right. Thanks for coming, guys. Appreciate oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Listen, we've done this all day because supposedly Virginia is supposed to be extremely loud. Oh, no, you don't. Got so it, let's man. give it up for yeah, Miko. That's OK. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. It's, it's very sweet. That always makes me feel better. <laughs>